All right, hey, what's up, Neo Thrashers, Metalheads? Uh, it's me, and I should be doing my homework, but I'm not going to right now uh, because I'm bored and I want to bored of shit, and I want to show you my battle jacket. Anyhow, I will get the homework done later, just not now. I want to present this jacket right now. So, this is the jacket that I showed you on my previous video. I cannot show you from. Uh, a, a camera, of course, because except for my webcam, because I don't have a you no know, camcorder. But I could show you if this does turn out well. I could show you from this way. Yeah. Okay. If you can't, then you know, screw off. But anyways, I'll show you what I got right now. There's been an update of patches because if, if you saw the last video, I showed you both of my battle jackets and uh, this one. This is my new one that you saw, the dark blue one that I updated some patches on and I'll show you right now so so it's gonna be a little hard but hopefully I can show you all well. but if, if you can see right here the your right your right my left uh, shoulder right here I still need to put a shit little more patches on but I need to buy those uh, we got Danzig we got a Venom logo we got Ozzy logo and we got Welcome to Hell Actually, all the the Danzig Venom and Aussie patch I got at the Santa Fe Spring Swap Meet. Uh, if you live anywhere in California and you're down in Southern Cali, where I am in Riverside, um, head over to the Santa Fe Spring Swap Meet because they actually have some really good patches over there. I highly recommend that you could hit that place up whenever you can. Also, they got some awesome tribute bands. So, if you if you're willing to check them out, then I suggest that too. Uh, so also we got these buns here that I also got from the swap meet. Let's see what the point of mail we got. Pantera, Guns N' Roses, Zeppelin, a pentagram, uh, pentagram button, Slayer, Metallica, Anthrax, Motorhead, and Iron Maiden. So that's that side. I actually wanted to um, see if I could fit some patches right here, if it's possible, or you know just. Put, write something in there. Then you can see right here we have Testament. We got this at uh, Hollywood Rocktown system patch right here and Overkill logo, both from the Santa Fe Spring Swap Meet. We have a uh, here's my one of my favorite patches, Cheech and Chong patch, marijuana. Can we all just get a bong? Uh, my mom actually got me that at the. the tour uh, at the concert that they put on like not too long ago actually a little long ago but really not that long we have a uh, shit hold on it's hard doing this we have a kiss with all the four members we got a homemade nuclear assault and I should get the overkill already oh the, the jacket's coming along really well but you know I'm really really anxious to get more patches because it's everyone's, you know, dream. Well, metalheads, you know, because metalheads are us. People are awesome. And for this side right here, yeah, Pink Floyd. I actually have this more of an old school side, you know, old school rock. Anyways, we got Pink Floyd, awesome band, ACDC. I like the patch. It's the only thing that uh, I don't like about it is that it's a white outline. I was really looking forward to getting the yellow outline classic. But it just didn't have it, so I figured I should still get it. Got an American flag patch. We have Jim Morrison, The Doors. I mean, how can you say no to that patch, man? It's awesome. I fucking love The Doors. Misfits patch right here. It's classic always. And we got, let's see, one of, you can't really see it, but it's a Misfits button. Because of the glare of the, the camera, the lens. And see this side right here, we have... These buns are here in this flap. We have 666. We have Skid Row. You have. Hold up. You have Motley Crue, ACDC. More ACDC all right here. And then we got Sodom Homemade Patch. Destruction. Great Thrash Metal. Um, I was actually willing to get a creator and repeat, replace it with Judas Priest, which I probably will do because, you know. Sodom Destruction Creator are the three German thrash bands that revolutionized the sound of German thrash metal. Uh, and then we got Morbid Angel, some classic death metal. K 
King Diamond and Merciful Fate, both of them match together really well. Of course, King Diamond is one of my favorite vocalists. He just got that, he's got that real unique voice that we all want. And, you know, just awesome dude, awesome vocalist. Then we go to the back. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the back right there. We got a Testament logo right here, which actually was weird because I was hoping I could get some sort of Testament logo to fit across this top right here, and, uh, and especially a large logo. And I'm really glad I found that logo. I was really not thinking I could find it, but I actually did. I got this at the swap meet, same place I was talking about, as well as the Dio patch, Pantera logo, and Cannibal Corpse, all from the swap meet. Uh, we got Motorhead. So, you know what? I'm, I'm going to put it this way. All Most of the patches I got either in Hollywood or the Santa Fe Springs swap meet. Most of them, I'd say like only three, like the... I want to see yeah, because the Judas Priest patch, Destruction, Morbid Angel, Merciful Fate ones, those ones are from, uh, and the back patch I'll show you right now, all from Rocktown in Hollywood, California. All the rest, every single rest, are from the swap meet. But let's carry on. So we have Motorhead right here, Black Sabbath logo. I actually wanted to get a old school purple logo, replace it with that. Got the big four right here. All right, let me fix that. Got Anthrax, Slayer, Megadeth, Metallica. Sorry, but I just had to put Metallica at the bottom because they're my least favorite out of the big four. I mean, I love Anthrax. That's really why I put it at the top. And then we got we got this really badass patch right here. Let's see if you can read it. Toxic Thrash Metal with the nuclear sign. It's every Neo Thrasher's dream to have as a patch, you know. Then we, we got Power Slave, Iron Maiden right here. We got Death, Deicide. Both classic death metal, Led Zeppelin, Megadeth, Red Logo, Guns N' Roses, and we got Slipknot right here. So yeah, and we got that, and then we got of course the back patch, which everyone was probably wanting to see right now. We got Iron Maiden Killers. So I mean, how could you how could you not say that this is the best patch to have as your back patch? Really awesome. And if you can see right here, I really need to get some patches to fill that empty space at the bottom here you know and oh I forgot to show you right here my bad uh, no, right here we got testament the legacy not really but you know the legacy skull logo showed you the kiss we have anthrax I'm the man one of my favorite songs by the band we got Metallica master of puppets and right here we have Finally, some Norwegian black metal band, of course, the most uh, notorious of all of them, which is Mayhem. You know, dead is dead. Irony. And then we got a homemade... Shit, man, I'm sorry. Homemade and a palm death patch right here. Um, I'm willing to get, an, uh, you know, official logo. Of Napalm Death, but we'll get that once I go back to Hollywood or the Swami, something like that. I'm also looking forward to getting a uh, Lamb of God patch, Municipal Waste, Bathory, you know, Birth from all those, you know, bands. Um, you notice I have a lot of logos on this patch, and I'm, I need some more album covers, so that's my goal too. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the inside right here, show you the inside right here. And we just kind of, I did some doodling, and this is kind of the best part right here. You have Welcome to Hell by Venom. You got, it says Welcome to Hell. You got the Baphomet. It pisses every Christian off, and I'm proud. And then you have Metal for Life, a bunch of inverted crosses right there. And then you got right here, it says, what can I show you? Sorry. You have Thrash Till Death. Course destruction. You have lay down your soul to the gods rock and roll. Venom. Pretty awesome. Venom are the godfathers of first wave of black metal. Uh, and then we have right here Kill Screamo and Emo Music. And then we have Master You Know, I Never Pray. You know, Merciful Fate. So yeah, I mean that's that's the inside. I'm willing to do some more doodling on the inside with some sharpie. But until then, you know we got the updated jacket, 
You know what? I'll just show you something real quick. So, uh, as you kind of remember, this was the first battle jacket, and it's really weird because this took me so much longer just to fill, and this has less patches. But it took me so much longer to get this one done, and it took me that jacket. I actually counted the patches on my new battle jacket, and that has 43 patches. I filled that. Ja I put 43 patches on that jacket in, say about three months. I've been filling this shit out since June. So June, July, August, September. Actually, no. Well, September is when I stopped buying patches, but it's been four months, and I've filled 43 patches on. This took. I've been filling out since sixth grade. No, yeah, sixth grade. And I've barely finished at the end, of, well, at the beginning of 2012. And there's not even not even half as much as patches on the other one. Like 10 less on this one, or even like 15. But they're actually, this is why I don't wear this jacket anymore. It's because it's autographed by my, you'll, you'll shit your pants when you see it right now. Look, you got Kerry King's signature right here of Slayer. Um, you have, if I really go in on the Iron Maiden patch, you, you can probably see. See Joy Bell and Donna of Anthrax signed right there. Scott Ian signed the Iron Maiden patch. I feel ashamed because I didn't. I when I met the whole band, I, I actually met Anthrax, and I did not have an Anthrax patch on this. And they were asking, "Dude, where's your Anthrax patch?" I'm like, "I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I was literally about to cry." I told him, "I'm sorry. I don't have one, Frank." But if you can barely see that's Scott's signature. That Frank's is right here. See, he wrote Bellow. Funny ass dude, man. We have, of course, Chris Holmes. I swear to God, I'm not joking. I met Chris Holmes right here. Of course, you've seen if you if you have seen um, the decline of Western civilization part two, the metal years. You know who Chris Holmes is. I can't even tell you that, but man, it was awesome meeting him. Then you have uh, we're gonna go over this fast. We have Iron Man Killers. We have Homemade Sodom, Small Patch, Aussie logo right here, American Flag, Alcatraz, and then we have Kiss logo. And then right here, oh, I forgot to show you, right here on the deal patch, Joey Belladonna of Anthrax, he put the man because he's, of course, making it out to deal, man. Then we got Rage Against the Machine, Danzig patch, ACDC for those about to rock. And we have System of a Down, we have a rope thrash. Motley Crue, Girls, 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 Deicide, uh, Metallica, we have Kiss, well actually one of my favorite patches on the vest, we have Motley Crue, New Tattoo, House of Chains, this is with a rooster, and you can see right here, see that, if you can see really good, Mike Inez signed right there too, then we'll go back to the back, we have Megadeth, and Demo Borgir, Raiders patches on both sides. Then we have the doors. And we have Ozzy. I want to hear you fucking scream. We got Slipknot. Oh, and then I forgot to show you that Mick Thompson is Slipknot. Side right there, right right beneath the Slipknot patch. Creator of, uh, you know, Creator, German Thrash Metal. Iron Maiden 666. Another, another Raiders patch. Judas Priest logo. And then I wrote here, Death Metal, Pentagram. So, oh shit, man, I'm forgetting some more. Okay, and then we got ACDC logo right here. We have Led Zeppelin, North American, or yeah, uh, the U.S. tour. And I think it was 70, 75, I want to say. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not familiar, but we have King Diamond logo right here. And then you have... Lamp of God right here. So that's the first jean jacket. Really surprising that it took me that long. It took me at least two to three years just to fill up that one. And it took me so much less time to fill up the new battle jacket. But that's both of the battle jackets. I'll give you an update video when I buy more patches for the new battle jacket. And until then, just stay heavy.